Today we're gonna to be talking about tool organization, tool wall organization, where to put things, why you put them there, priorities and you know, shared tools, your buddies stealing your tools, all kinds of stuff. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Truman with Park Tool. I've been organizing this bench over the last couple days to kind of give it to my own spin, put the tools where I think they should be. So this is gonna be a video about my opinions on where things should go and the reasons why I put them there. How I kind of started was I laid everything out on a piece of cardboard that was the size of this wall. And I put down the piece of cardboard, I started laying things out and put them in priority categories. Your first order tools, second order, third order tools, uh, first order is going to be kind of like the tools that you're going to use a lot of the time. They're going to be kind of your primary tools, they're going to put a, you're going to put a lot of miles on them. Second order tools are ones that you need at hand, you're not going to be quite as important as the first order. And then third order, kind of some proprietary tools that you still need quick access to, but not quite as important as the first order tools. And my first order category came out mostly things that would look good in the tool caddy. So I put them in the tool caddy, and I really like using the tool caddy because you don't even have to turn around to, to grab things off of the wall. It's quick access. You don't have to be running around looking for tools. It's right there at hand. Um, second, I started looking at what I use a frequent amount, and then also what comes into play is, I'm gonna be using it a lot, but where am I gonna be using it? So truing stand is over here, so I'm gonna put all the wheel tools over here. That makes a lot of sense to me. Headsets on the front of the bike, so I'm gonna put headset tools, like your adjusting wrenches, your crown race setter, your race removal, your headset press, all over on this side because it's easy to go from working on it here to grabbing the tool. In the center is kind of centralized stuff, bottom bracket, chain, uh, crank tools, stuff along those lines. So you'll see you know, the chain tools right here, you're gonna see some more bottom bracket tools all along here because those are right in the middle. Torx, this is gonna be in the middle. I didn't have space for it on the priority, but I wanted to have it in a, an easy to reach location. Over here on this side, we've got you know, your hammers, uh, hacksaw, your cone wrenches. These are a lot of tools that kind of go along with the vise. And I have the vise on this side of the bench. So it makes sense to have those over here. Same with your derailleur alignment gauge. Derailleur's on the back of the bike, dags toward the back. And then also having a key to that shows you kind of where the tools go is really important. So this key is gonna help you not only for you to put things back, because you're gonna remember where to put them and you're gonna always put things back, right? But your buddies are gonna take things, your coworkers are gonna take things, they're not gonna put them back, right? This is gonna help you put them back and them put them back. Uh, there's also tools that you might think about sharing or putting in a area where you can kind of like show them off. So that would be kind of separate from this wall. It could even be a drawer system. One thing I didn't get up here that I would like up here would have been a bottom bracket press. I do a fair amount of bottom bracket pressing, and that would have been a tool that I would have liked to fit up here. Not at a lot of space, so it forced me to prioritize the tools. The board on the back. This is pegboard. Pegboard's pretty versatile. Lots of people use pegboard. This is white. I'm not super, I'm not a big fan of the white pegboard. Uh, thing about pegboard is you can modify it. You can paint it, you can draw on it. If you want to do outlines, you can do outlines. Um, I've seen at home I have mine and I use like a raw wood finish and then I use nails and screws and give them a good bend to put tools exactly where I want them and I like that kind of like rustic look. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways. Uh, pegboard's not the only way, but it's a great way. Uh, I hope this video helps you guys organize your benches the way that is most efficient for you. This is an example of how I started. And then as you work on the bench, you might adjust some things. So thanks for joining us. Have a good day. Thanks for joining us on this Tech Tuesday. I hope you guys learned some stuff. I hope you guys can uh, gain a little bit of knowledge on where you want to put your tools for your personal situation. Uh, if you liked it, like us, subscribe to us. We'll talk to you guys later. Wrench happy.